Alrighty, hello guys, welcome you faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Sprocket yet again, and today I have plans for this World War 1 land ship. Essentially, what we're gonna do today is remove the big gun from the front, as you guys can see right here, and we're gonna replace it with a huge gun mounted onto the back of this thing. Now, I'm not entirely sure how this is gonna go, but I think it'd be a pretty cool idea. So, um, let's go ahead and see if we can do it, shall we? Alright, so what we're going to have to do is actually remove this, there you go, remove this guy, and remove this guy as well. Uh, we're also going to remove that guy, uh, we are going to remove this, there we go, we're going to have to remove this, 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 uh, and this, and that, and this, oh my, we're actually going to have to remove a hell of a lot of stuff uh, in order to actually do this plan, but hopefully it works in the end. So, we're going to grab these two, and we're going to go ahead and extend them backwards. Hopefully this doesn't change anything else on the tank, because if it did, I might cry. But there you go, we've extended it backwards, uh, and it seems to be okay. We're then going to go ahead and extend this guy upwards, just like so. Uh, we're going to go ahead and ramp this guy straight into there, if we can. Da -da 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 -da. Just like so, kind of, in fact, yeah, kind of just like so. Uh, we're going to lower it down so that it actually fits, and leave that essentially just there. Okay, that's Fandabby Dozy, that's really good. Uh, we're then going to try and design the back end to look a little bit nicer. Now, clearly this doesn't look very nice at all, but that's okay. So, if we go to edges and we split... Oh, that's probably a bad way of doing it, actually. Grab this and this and bring it down. There you go. Bring this bit forwards. And I think the way we can do this is extending this guy and this guy upwards uh, and doing it this way. So, do this into the sky. Make it a little bit skinnier. As we go upwards, here we go, just like so, and try and make it work. So that's going to go there like that, and we're going to have our mighty big gun uh, right on the back of there. Okay, the other thing is we can actually grab all of these and send these guys outwards like so, uh, and then the mighty big gun will actually fit. It looks strange so far, but I think we can do this. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to firepower. Yes, go ahead and grab one of these, and actually it's going to be more like one of these, but really big. Uh, there we go, excellent. Uh, we're going to move this bit backwards just a little tiny touch, and cannon is going to be mahoosive. Uh, we're going to go for the biggest it can be, propellant length absolutely ginormous as well. We're going to make this thing like two meters long, there we go, add another one. It's also going to have to be two meters long, there we go, maybe even add another one, <laughs> which is also, actually make this three, or make this three. We could be very close to where it needs to be, and then add another one that is also one meter long, there you go, and honestly that's cool. That is, that's it, that's what we want. It's a bit strange, but I think it works. Make this back to two, sorry, no, is it three? I think it's three meters that that should be, and make this one smaller. Hey, there we go. Okay, so, that's our new cannon. What do we think? All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is actually add this guy up here. Clearly this needs squidging, but in not the sense that we always do it, so it's gonna get squidged like this. It's also gonna get squidged like that. And we're going to go ahead and move this guy upwards so that it actually still works. There you go. So now when I spawn this in and we aim... Uh, <laughs> I don't know how we're going to do this, actually. This guy needs to be on two, I think. So spawn it in. That's also going to be our main gun, so make this primary. Now when I spawn it in, this is the first one we get. Excellent. Oh, yeah. So the side guns still shoot. That's awesome. We now need this front gun in the middle to actually shoot as well. So, go to firepower. This guy and this guy are both going to be changed to the big rounds. Yeah, okay, right. These are actually huge rounds. It's crazy. So, get rid of those. Grab a new one. Uh, we're going to try and get some more. There we go. Shove them in there, very close to where the gun is, and leave them like that. Okay, so now when we want to shoot it, we press F2, and we aim towards the target that we want to shoot at. And we absolutely annihilate it. That is our job. Excellent. APHE, and they are both APHE. There we go. Fantastic. Yes. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is actually go through this and uh, actually attach a lot more of these guys, which are rivets. So I'm going to rivet this thing up, and I'll be back with you guys in a second. Okay, so there we go. I've added some rivets everywhere. I've also added this side gun. I've added the exhaust on the back. I've added a door on the back as well, as well as two vents and some vents right here as well. Uh, we've got the doors that we originally had down there, which are pretty cool. And the other thing that I want to do is actually try and store some stuff uh, down in this hole. Now, this hole is very uh, squidged, if that makes any sense at all. It is very, very squidged. 
Uh, but we're going to try and put some stuff in there. Uh, especially back here. So if we can do that there, there we go, awesome. We'll then do it again, and we'll do it again, and we'll do it again. Uh, there we go, okay, awesome. That's nice. Alright, keep it going, we'll have another one. And I think that'll be our last one. Yes, that actually looks very, very good. Okay, so, uh, the other thing that we are also missing is if we go to mobility, we go to fuel tanks, we're gonna lower this because we don't need 600 liters of fuel, and we're gonna get the extra bit of fuel as well, and we'll actually shove that on the side right here. Now clearly, this isn't really where you'd want your fuel tank, but it is where we're gonna have ours, so there you go. Alright, nice. Uh, is there anywhere else that we can actually store fuel? I don't think so, so we'll leave it as is. Um, we'll go ahead and get this fuel thingamabobby as well, and we will direct this in some sort of place. I think we'll put it there, actually. And there we go. We get our fuel tanks at the back. Awesome. So, we have changed it. I've also changed the color of it as well, because I think it looks better in this color. And uh, I'm happy with that. The next thing I want to do is go to this. Uh, go to the cannon mount, I believe. Yes. Give this uh, some turning. Oh, look it. I hate when this happens. So, it gives it no turning in that direction, and I have absolutely no idea why. Like, does it make any sense? No. It doesn't. It, it legit doesn't. And I, I don't get it. I really, really do not get it. Um, but yeah, it thinks that there is no turning in that direction. No matter what I do. How strange. Very. Very, very strange. But let's go ahead and attach that onto there anyway. Uh, and although it can only aim left, <laughs> um, I think that'll be alright. It's not amazing, but it'll be alright. So, if we go to this gun yet again... We go to the cannon itself, we make it primary, that is it. Okay, we can turn left, but we can't turn right. I don't understand that, but there you go. Okay, so now that we got this, let's see if it can actually take on a vehicle. I'm not entirely sure which one we are going to fight, but let's just go ahead and random it. Three, two, one, bam, that one. Alright, that is not the vehicle that I would want to fight. But uh, we got it, we win. Um, yeah, that's not the one we would want to fight. How about the 111 future? If it shoots first, it might kill us, but no, we just killed it. Excellent. Um, what else can we actually add to this? I know that it's asking for antenna, so let's go ahead and attach those. Uh, we'll use this, and we'll put it there. Because the thing doesn't aim sideways anyway, so it doesn't all really matter. And off we go. Excellent. Alright, so let's do the same thing that we did last time, and go into... I guess the railway map is the one that we're going to use. Um, and essentially, we're going to try and win this in a World War One tank. There is 12 of them, and there is only two of us. I'm not entirely sure how this is going to go, but we're going to try. All right, I had to restart real quick because there was an issue, but that's okay. Now it is working. So, if we come across any big tanks, we'll go ahead and blow it up with our main cannon. If we come against any small tanks, we'll use the sponsons on the side in order to absolutely annihilate them. Hopefully, uh, our two tanks will be able to take on 11. I, I kind of feel like this is going to be tricky, but we'll see. Oh, there is someone firing. I can smell them. All right, okay. Oh, we've already been shot in the driver and the gunner, and everybody's everybody's dead. Uh, unfortunately, the problem with this tank is it's a World War One tank, and we are now versing early war World War Two tanks, and clearly uh, we are outmatched. Clearly, so um, that's annoying. But anyway, let's go ahead and see if our main cannon can destroy one of these. Yes, it can. All right, can our side cannons? Let's see. Alright, this cannon, actually, this gun is dead. So let's switch to... Oh, never mind. Never mind. Okay, it doesn't work on this map. Let's try a different one. Okay, here we go. We might actually just have to use it on the other map, to be honest. But uh, let's see what happens here. So press F2, F3, uh, F3. Okay, excellent. That uses this gun on the side. And essentially, we're going to go ahead and shoot this guy with this gun. There we go. That guy died. Excellent. We can now change gun. Press F2. And we can shoot this boy with the big gun. There we go. We can then change gun again. Press F3. Okay. Side gun. Activated. Okay, it works. Side sponsor, shoot that guy too. That works too. Excellent. There's another guy up this this hill. So we'll go ahead and shoot him as well. Da 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 da. Alright, if I could keep this sponsor aiming in this direction while I aim the other gun in a different direction, that would be amazing. But never mind, that guy's dead. Now change to the big gun, because it is only the remaining tank, which is the last one. Uh, which is the big boy. And for some reason, I can't turn the tank anymore. What's going on? Alright, here we go. We're turning. And now we're able to shoot him. Three, two, one. Oh. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> the timing on that, it wouldn't let me shoot, and I don't know why. That's really weird. Anyway, let's try this again. Let's try this again. So F4 switches to this gun on this side. We can now... Oh, these are the fast ones. I don't like fighting the fast ones. I really don't like fighting the fast ones. Okay, this guy is coming around this way. There we go. Excellent. We got more tanks. They're everywhere. They are actually everywhere. Shoot that guy quickly. There we go. He's dead. Change guns to the other side. Here we go. All right, that one is not dead. That one is not dead. Come on, die. All right, you're dead. Excellent. You're dead, I think. Excellent also. Press F2, shoot the big tank first. Turn. For some reason, it just doesn't turn, and I don't really know why. Go forwards and turn right. Come on. Come on, we need the big gun to aim at the big tank that's driving directly at us. Come on. Aim down. My sponsons are aiming, but nothing else is. The big gun on the top is not aiming down yet. Aim lower. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, hang on. What are you doing? What's this guy want? What do you want? Stop shooting at me. There. Right. Okay. We've dealt with him. So now we need the big gun again. And we're going to try and take out... Why's he gone? He's hiding directly behind this one. There he is. Oh, he's hidden again. <laughs> he's hiding. Come out. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Three, two, one. Fire! Victory. There we go. Nice. Oh, I know why the big gun didn't shoot last time. It's because um, it takes uh, almost two minutes to reload. But there we go. We actually made sure that we did a mission this time. That's excellent. That is very good. Um, obviously, the tank is... Uh, experimental and you wouldn't really use it, but I don't know. It's kind of fun to do, isn't it? It's kind of a fun thing. Uh, transmission. Yeah, we've got three. Let's lower this down to like three. There you go. And go again. I want to be able to use the gears properly because at the minute it doesn't. It's not using the gears properly at all. But never mind. All right, cool. So what do you guys think of the design? Let me know in the comments down below and uh, yeah, just let me know. Let me know. Oh, can I, can I shoot this guy? Turn sideways. Come on. I'm trying to use the sponsor on the side to shoot this guy. It's quite cool having multiple guns. It's just very tri tricky to use them. Considering you have multiple people using them, normally, uh, just one person trying to use the entire tank is quite difficult. If that makes any sense. Because I can only use one gun at a time. Kind of. You know? So anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and name this gun forwards. Now we need the gun on the other side. One second. Alright, I killed the big one with our side gun. It makes sense to not actually have the big gun at this point, but that's fine. Okay, turn this sideways, keep it going. There we go. I can take out any tank that comes at us with the guns on the sponsors. This is crazy. Right, here we go, that needs shooting. Alright, any- who- who was that? This guy. That's who it was. You're dead. There we go. So yeah, we don't actually need the big cannon on the top, but it is a pretty cool addition. Just in case you need to absolutely wallop someone, you know? Just to, Oh, maybe if there's a bunker. Or, I don't know, if you see an enemy tank that you just really don't like, you can go ahead and do this to it. Ready? Three, two, one. There you go. And uh, annihilate it, but there you go. I like the way it looks. I think it looks pretty cool. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time. Goodbye.